Um, so it goes like so. After having been told my danglies look like an elderly Rastafarian, I decided to take the plunge and buy some of this as previous shaving attempts had only been mildly successful and I nearly put my back out trying to reach the more difficult bits. I don't know why you take a razor to your testicles, no, person. I, I, um, I, have, I have done that. Anyway, being a bit of a romantic, I thought I would do the deed on the missus's birthday as a bit of a treat. Bless I'm her. sure that's what she wanted Lucky for lady. her birthday. Hey! I ordered it well in advance, and working in the North Sea, I considered myself uh, a bit above some of the characters writing the previous reviews, and wrote them off as soft office types. Oh. oh, my fellow sufferers, how I was wrong. I waited until the other half was tucked up in bed, and after giving some vague hints about a special surprise, I went down to the bathroom. Uh, initially, all went well, and I applied the gel and stood waiting for something to happen. No, that's that's good. I, so far, so good. I, yeah. I didn't have to wait long. Oh. At first, there was a gentle warmth. To, to be honest, hang on, oh. I didn't actually read through this story. I've read this before. I can't remember if there's anything I shouldn't read in here. I'm, we'll find I'm out. I'm pretty sure Who we're cares? fine. We've covered a lot of things on the <laughs> show today. At first, there was a gentle warmth, which in a matter of seconds was replaced by an intense burning <laughs> and a feeling I can only describe as like being given a barbed wire, by, barbed wire wedgie by two people <laughs> intent on hitting the ceiling with my head. Oh. Religion hadn't featured much in my life until that <laughs> night, but I suddenly became willing to convert to any religion to stop the violent burning around the turd tunnel and what seemed like the destruction of the meat and two veg. <laughs> Struggling to not bite through my bottom lip, I tried to wash the gel off in the sink and only succeeded in blocking the plug hole with a mat of hair. Through the haze of tears, I struggled out of the bathroom, across the hall, into the kitchen. By this time, walking was not only not really possible and I crawled the final yard to the fridge in the hope of some form of cold relief. I yanked the three freezer drawer open and found a tub of ice cream, tore the lid off and positioned it under me. The oh relief was God. fantastic, but only temporary as it melted fairly quickly and the fiery stabbing soon returned. <gasps> Due to the shape of the ice cream tub, I hadn't managed to get... <laughs> I hadn't managed to give the starfish any treatment. And obviously he was doing the back passage as well. Oh. Um, <laughs> I hadn't managed to give the starfish any treatment and I groped around in the drawer for something else as I was sure my vision was going to fail fairly soon. I grabbed a bag of what I later found out was frozen sprouts, <laughs> tore it open, trying to be quiet as I did so. I took a handful of them and tried in vain to clench some between the cheeks of my arse. <laughs> this was not doing the trick as some of the gel had found its way up the chun chutney channel and it felt like the space shuttle was running its engines behind me. This was probably and hopefully the only time in my life I was going to wish there was a gay snowman in the kitchen which would give you some idea of the depths I was willing to sink in order to ease the pain. A gay snowman. <laughs> That's awesome. The only solution my pain-crazed mind could come up with was to gently ease one of the sprouts where no veg had gone before. Mm, no Unfortunately, way. alerted by the strange grunts coming from the kitchen... <laughs> The other half chose that moment to come and investigate and was greeted by the sight of me, arse in the air, strawberry ice cream dripping from my felons, pushing... <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to walk in and see that. No one. Pushing a sprout up my arse. <laughs> 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 oh, if it was only yesterday that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing a sprout up my arse while muttering, ooh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, do, you, do you think at this point she's thinking, oh, this is my surprise, isn't it? This is my surprise. <laughs> Understandably, this was a shock to her, and she let out a scream as I hadn't heard her come in. It caused an involuntary spasm of shock in myself, <laughs> which resulted in the sprout. <laughs> being ejected <laughs> at quite some speed <laughs> in her direction. <laughs> I can understand that having a sprout farted against your leg at 11 at night in the kitchen probably wasn't a special surprise she was expecting. And having to explain to the kids the next day oh, what the strange hollow in the ice cream was. <laughs> Why would you keep the ice cream? <laughs> didn't what? improve my status. Why would you keep the ice cream? You throw that out that's been on your man's <laughs> genitals. So to sum it up, feet removes hair, dignity and self-respect. That is one of Bravo. the best reviews. Right.